Alex, what, what did you adjust after the first few drives there last week? What, what did you like? What did you not like early? What did you like later? Yeah, I mean, obviously some, some you know, you, you let the ball get loose a couple times, both in the pass game and the run game. And, you, and you know, it's always easier to, to look back on it once you see it on video and you, you see a break. Oh, it's just blank. And, and as we tell the guys, it's never just anything. It's just our careers are on the line every Saturday, players and coaches. And so... Um, I think some of it, as we talk to the guys, is, is that, that trust factor. You just see periods of lack of trust. And, and one of the things I talk to the guys about is that we don't and a holistically between each other. Obviously, yeah, that's something you're always working on, player to player, coach to player, all that stuff. But you know, one of the things we highlighted is just you know the, the, the trust element in themselves. And in that moment, I'm like, playing my gap is all I need to do. You know, defending my man if I got a vertical two, or if I'm, I'm responsible for a tight end on the vertical. All I got to do, I don't, I don't want to overthink this thing. Um, and so I think a lot, a lot of that is just settling in and, and, and making sure that uh, we, we trust some of those things that uh, that we do on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. I mean, a year ago we were uh, maybe screaming from the rooftops saying we're not getting it done on Tuesdays and Wednesdays and Thursdays and all those things. And one of the things, you know, kind of as we look at it right now, we got to make sure that we're doing the things on, on, on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. And, uh, those things will show up on, on Saturdays. And obviously the opponent's going to make, make it very difficult for you. I mean, they're going to try to you know, mess with your eyes and token play fakes. And that, that's one of the things that's kind of the second level of defense kind of struggle with a little bit. But, uh, um, no, I, I would highlight the trust on those things. You know, and, I, and sometimes, too, when your back's against the wall, and it's a, and you, you like to do it when your back's not against the wall, and just say we're going to show up on a Saturday and do it from the jump. When your back's against the wall, what else you got? It's just trusting each other and trusting yourselves, and I give the guys a lot of credit for doing that. Coach, Coach Riley talked about early in that game, and he dialed up some of the perfect play calls, and then the players just didn't execute. How frustrating was that, and why do you think that happened? Well, it's, it's little things. It, it's, it's, you know, a, a third and two. Um, and, and, you know, you, you tackle it for two and a half. It's a third and nine, and you tackle it for nine and a half. And, and, what it, and really, and as we talked to the guys, Coles, Coles are just 11 coordinated guys doing, doing something. And there's like a motion offensive basketball, the same thing the offense is trying to do uh, in football. And so, you know, in, in, in those aspects of things, and, and some of it is just simply, okay, we've got to tackle a little bit lower, we're falling back. And some of that's not just in, you know, some of those key situations, and, and say, for instance, a third down, but it created a third and four because on first and ten, it turns into a second and seven. Which in, in the stat sheet, you know, we're not we're not you know tore up about the three yard game, but man, that could have been a second and twelve. And so all those things. And so again, I, I highlight that we got to make sure in those moments, you know, when when you got an eleven on the table, and you get a chance to double down, man, you got to double down on some of them. And you're not always in that position. Believe me, there's other other ones that you want to have back. And so we we just gotta uh, we gotta know when those some of those moments occur. You know, you see that out ball on a, on a third and two, and it's something we've worked on. We oh man, you know that that's one that we're saying it's either a PBU or. It's going the other way, type of thing, which obviously Jacoby had another one later in the game that really, which was really good to, to just mention one of them. So, um, but that's a constant, and, and again, it, it's not from lack of effort, which is a, which is a good thing. Uh, but we got to make sure we get there a, a click sooner in some of those respects. Jalen was already coming off an All-American season. Where have you seen him make the most improvement this year? Yeah, I mean, I, we asked a lot of him. You know, and there's no no better way to put it. I mean, he, he doesn't get the opportunity to just do one thing on Saturdays. He's not one of those guys that you're. You know, looking obviously number one to get him out of the game, and if, 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 even if he has to come out of the game, you tell him to go back out. You know, and so um, he, he's um, you know been, been been tremendous in terms of when the ball's in the air. Um, you know, and, and obviously not, not without exceptions, but you know, like, like any DB. But um, no, you you just from a trust standpoint, I'm saying that word too much. But in, in terms of us with him, you know, you want him everywhere. You know, you know if you put him on the boundary half, you want him everywhere. Boundary half, you want them in the post, you want them in the run fit, but oh, you really like to put them in the man to man on their best guy. And so we're trying to do a combination of all those things, and that, that's something that'll continue. But uh, no, he's a great Trojan, he, he's a great, great person. Um, he's uh, he's everything you want to coach and, and be a USC Trojan, so uh, he's, he's tremendous. Lincoln was, Lincoln was talking about how you guys kind of had to get creative a little bit this week with the lack of you know cornerback mm -hmm. depth. Any kind of safeties or guys in the secondary that you feel comfortable, you know, in a pinch, kind of sliding over there? Yeah, and we'll constantly look at it. And, you know, you know, Profit made a play at the end of the game, which was, was really good. And they're going to attack you, too, when they see a new corner come in late. You know, I think we're down three corners by the end of that thing, and the guy's got to step up. And, you know, obviously now with the work week, you know, going into this next one, we'll, we'll, we'll you know, uh, look at some things and, and, and possibly move some checkers around. And, um, you know, and, and then the, the other side of it is the guy's got to step up, you know. But not just like on a, on a Saturday game day, but, you know, going into this next one. So many you know, guys ask for an opportunity, um, and you just don't know when it's going to come. So, uh, no, we'll look at all those things. I mean, that's a specific guy to highlight. I, mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go there yet, but uh, it's on the same place as you saw last week. Thank you, guys. All right, thank, thank you. All. you.